good morning and welcome back to my channel so um in yesterday's video we were doing the backs of the project life cards and somebody had asked me how big the project life cards were and so um i wanted to measure those for you these are the large project life cards and this particular one is 15 centimeters or six inches they're four by six yeah four by six boop, boop. i love this little ruler i use this a lot in the pictures in my in my shop and then this little guy is probably three by five yeah three by four three by four so we're gonna play with these today but i did want to show you guys the ones that we did yesterday um so we did these on camera this is um from the let's see this one's from kaiser craft paper line this particular one i buried my paper pads um let's see which one are you i don't know that they still make this but it's called frosted and i got this several years ago and i absolutely love this paper um Oh, made in China. Look at that. Um, I don't see a date on it. Normally there's like a copyright or something. Um, I mean, I know it's copyright protected, but normally there's a date on there. Anyway, this one is called Frosted, and that's from uh, Kaiser Craft. So we'll put that down, and that's these guys here. So these are just basic journaling cards, and this is the front and or back, whichever. And then here's the other side. And like I said yesterday, these are um, this ledger paper I got from Switzerland from my friend Eve. So that's the first set that we did and then we did the um the snowflake wood green i believe that is from the same set let me double check mm, no it's not it's from this one it's called ice crystals and this one's from recollections and the other page should be somewhere unless I used it at some other point in time which is possible ah. is that nope that's not it I don't know I'm looking at the other pad and it's not in there so I think it's this one it's either Kaiser Craft or it's Ice Crystals by Recollections. It's one of those two. Um, so there is, there's only four. Why is there only four? Oh, because I got them all mixed up. That's why. Okay, so here are the one side with the little snowflake um, wooden green. So I had intended on doing a couple videos last night when I recorded uh, today's video, because today's Monday, but I was in a lot of pain. Like my tummy was not feeling well yesterday. Ever have one of those days where it's just like, oh my gosh, uh, you can't move. Whether it's a migraine, back pain, tummy pain, whatever it is. And it wasn't like anything I ate. It was just, I mean, it was normal, but still. 
I was like, no, I can't do it. So, um, and I say normal, it's not really that normal, but. Um, and then here is the, uh, oh, these came from the LeBlanc, the white paper pack. Uh, it's called LeBlanc Stack from DCWV. That's where the white damask came from. And then these guys here came from I'm pretty sure this one came from Ice Crystals. It might have came from LeBlanc actually. Let me double check. No, it came from LeBlanc as well. But the leaves are actually like um like a taupe color, a really light taupe. So there's those. And see what I mean by some of them are vertical and some of them are horizontal. I think I mentioned that yesterday. This is just pink dyed paper. Lots of writing space. And then the last set, I was I told you guys that I would do with you guys, but then I realized um, that I only had like so many left. So I went ahead and did them. And then we're going to do the smaller ones, but we're going to do something not scrapbook paper. So that is what the paper looks like. Luke. Okay. And I just, I put these underneath a, um, a book overnight. So they were a little bit flatter. I mean, they're still arched just ever so slightly, but they're not like all wonky, which I was kind of afraid of with the Mod Podge because Mod Podge is very wet, but we're going to use a different glue today, but I love these roses. You can never go wrong with roses. Roses are so pretty and they're, they're not seasonal. They, they go with every season. Like there's so many different colored roses. They can go with so many things and that's what we did yesterday. Like, isn't that cool? Because now we have so many different bases, and now they don't look like Project Life cards anymore. They look like actual like journaling cards, you know? So I think that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is I have these smaller ones, and I'll just kind of show, well, that, that worked so well. These are not playing cards. They don't spread very well. Um, so, anyway, I've got ledger paper, I've got um, blank ledger, coffee dyed ledger paper. Uh, this is not coffee dyed, this is just old. It's some of that fragile ledger paper. This one is, I think, modern coffee dyed, or modern paper that has been coffee dyed. I'm pretty sure this came from Miss Emily. I know this came from Miss Emily. It's a very thin coffee dyed paper. More ledger paper. Um, pink. I like pink. I know there are a lot of people that are like, ew, pink, but I love pink, and so I play with pink a lot. Um, some more of the fragile, well, it used to be fragile. I'm sure the paper itself probably still is, but, and then some more of the really thin paper here. These were actually um, legal size sheets, so I was able to get a lot into them. And I only used, I think, one sheet of this particular ledger paper, this modern ledger paper. And I still got, I think, six, yeah. But as you can see, I got a lot more. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 14, 16. Yeah, so I got eight to a page on the, the thinner ones, the legal size paper, because I used two sheets. I really liked that. 
and this this um, ledger sheets they were just I used them um, like I would lay out the big cards and then if there was extra space enough to actually cover the card I would just lay the card down and that's what I got from there so and then I used a sheet of Oh no, I didn't use a sheet. I did the same thing with the pink paper. I filled it in with the big cards and then filled in the empty spaces with the little cards. So, what we're going to do today is take a drink of my tea. We're going to play with rice paper because I love rice paper. Rice paper is fun. We're going to put my paper back down. So I've got some traditional colors for Christmas, uh, not necessarily for winter per se, but for Christmas. So I have a couple of those, and then I've got some shabby chic going on here, and some nice pretty winter images. This is not rice paper, this is, um, it's called decoupage paper, but it's very, very, very thin. How people print on this, I have no idea. But I have a couple of those, and I want to use this. I don't know how, but I'm going to use this. This is the Arctic World um, from Stamperia. Um, oh, and that's rice paper. And then this is also rice paper, again, with the Arctic winter themed. I need to get some more of these. I thought I had more of this, but this is the only one I have. So I'm going to have to get some more of this one. And then I just thought these were really pretty. They matched very well with most of the Arctic stuff. And another shabby chic or shabby or chic or whatever. I heard somewhere I was, um, Miss Gail had mentioned that I, I didn't catch the name of it, but someone somewhere was claiming the trademarked phrase shabby chic so apparently you're not allowed to use that i guess i don't know somebody will have to dig into that and let me know um not just like straight off the top of your head like oh no that's not true um like i'm really curious as to have evidence as like where this is from you know not, I don't want it to be true, so it's not true. Not that thing. Uh, I'm very big on actual evidence. So I'm just going to grab some parchment paper because this stuff is very thin. I'm sure that was very loud and I'm sorry. Uh, oi. Okay. Ooh, I want to use some stickers too. Alright, so we're going to put you under there. Nope, stay under there. Put you... Um, this, is, this is actually one of my favorite mediums to use as far as glue. I need to get more. But it's, um, it's by Prima, and it's called Finobar. And it's soft matte gel. And it's one of my favorite because it doesn't get soppy wet and it doesn't warp your paper. It doesn't like, um, it's not sticky or tacky at all. I'm trying to figure out how I want to cut these out because I don't know that I want to cut them out. There's a little Merry Christmas on there too. You fill my heart with joy. Maybe I'll just like put it like that. What do you think? I think that would work. I kind of want to leave that you fill my heart with joy. I don't know if you'll be able to see it up there, but it's there. I like 
that one too. I really like this one though. All right, so I'm gonna cut this out like that. We're gonna set that aside. And we're gonna put this on just like we would a napkin. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. All right. To unstiffen my brush and dry it overnight. All right. So, anyway, what have you guys been up to in the last 24 hours that I've seen you? <laughs> or that you have told me what you've been up to? And the great thing about rice paper is, is you can use a glue stick if you want, or you can use Mod Podge, or you can use really whatever you want. But like with the napkin, a napkin is very fragile, so I'm going to go ahead and cover this whole thing, because it is a sealant as well. So we're just going to cover that whole thing up. Boink. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I love it. And I know it looks shiny right now because it's wet, but it is not, it does not dry shiny. It's not at all. So we're just going to set that aside. I'm going to grab, let's grab this one. This one's vertical. And we'll do, hmm. We'll do that one, but it kind of dips into there. Maybe we can add something to the side here. Kind of like that one. All right, let's do that one. Yeah. off of this Merry Christmas. Now some of them I will be making for um, Christmas and then I'm not going to do like a whole ginormous amount of the Christmas ones because I know a lot of people um, have different religions that they celebrate or different holidays that they celebrate during the winter seasons. So I want to try to just stick with winter theme, you know? Now, I will be doing some Christmas, though. I enjoy Christmas. We celebrate Christmas. Um, so, what do you guys celebrate during the winter? Do you celebrate anything? I guess I didn't seal the other one, did I? I forgot. It's not really necessary, especially if you're gonna continue to decorate on it. Oof, give me that. Oh, I missed that shot. And I do plan on continuing to decorate these guys. I'm not going to just leave them as is. Mm, pretty, pretty. Stay. All right, let's see. Let's do a shabby one. I love this paper. Isn't it pretty? This one is uh, Stamperia. I don't know what that code means. Probably an inventory code. Well, it's not even a can, it's a bag, but whatevs. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to use this whole thing. After I figure out how to make my paper stay put. Alright, put my water over there. Lead down there. My glue right there. Bloop, bloop. Voila. Alright, um, I wonder if I can just cover the paper. You think? Because it's not like super duper wet. And just do like one at a time. And just try it. Oh yeah, that's not bad. All right. Very cool. Yep, yep. So my son came back from his sleepover this morning and he was very upset <laughs> because his friend woke him up at eight o'clock because it was eight o'clock. <laughs> I was laughing at him. So my son's 14 and he doesn't like waking up at eight o'clock. He will. It's not his favorite thing in the world. So, um, yeah, that was, that was very humorous to me. Right. So we're putting the back side up because we're gluing this side. You guys haven't figured that part out yet. Just in case you're like, you're putting it on backwards. I know. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm silly like that. And I'm like trying to use as much of this paper as possible. Parchment paper is not cooperating with me. Come on. Okay. Um, let's see. Am I going to be able to put two down? Probably not. Oh, if I squeeze them together, maybe. I'm going to do it because I can always decorate the side. Mm. Let's go. This route here. Hey, come here. So we have little things kind of just floating around in our garage from this, that, or another, um, packaging or, um, pieces of this, that, or whatnot. And like, for instance, my son got a, um, a BMX bike for his birthday. And, um, I might just save that last piece actually. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Anyway, um, and there was like a little plastic piece that was just kind of floating around the garage. Like it was, I guess a connecting piece or something that someone missed, um, when they were cleaning up and my daughter, my youngest daughter went into the garage this morning for something. I don't even remember what it was for, but she comes back out and she hollers. She's like, there's a spider. It's a really big spider. <laughs> and I was like, we don't have really big spiders here. I live in South Carolina. Like, we have dangerous spiders, but not really big spiders. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, anyway, I'm like, 
Okay, let's go in the garage and figure out what this girl's talking about. Oh, that is so cool. And um, so anyway, I go in the garage and there's this plastic piece that it's like pronged, you know? And I guess at a glance you could mistake it for a spider, but it was just, it was very hilarious because she's not normally scared of bugs. My oldest has made her scared of bugs. But Sydney used to um, dig around in the dirt and she would pick the bugs up and play with the bugs. Roly polies, worms, beetles, didn't matter. Uh, oh my gosh, I really, really like this. Oh, it is so pretty. I'm just kind of pushing out some of the air bubbles because I did it upside down so I couldn't really feel and I don't really want to rub it because it could tear the paper. So I'm just kind of pushing out the air bubbles. If there isn't, there's one. It's slowly coming out. Um, but anyway, I think it's funny how terrified of bugs she is now. She's like, I've always been scared of bugs. It's like, yeah, you remember when you were three years old, right? Because I do. Oh, that was funny. I'll let go of my hand. Okay, let's see. What else do we want to do? I think these will be fun. I want to do this one right here. So this is the decoupage paper. I actually haven't used this before, and I'm very curious as to how I'm going to like it. I want to use that one, too. Oh, I want to use that one, too. I actually started to get these um, because I wanted to use them on my frames. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I make and decorate frames to be used as um, either decoration on your desk or journal covers, um, or you can use like wall adornments. You just put them on your wall. And no, I'm not saving these little pieces here. There's literally nothing on them. It's just white decoupage paper. So, um, I don't need that either. I am going to save this part, though. The little Merry Christmas. Might need that. All right, so let's figure out which one we want to use. I know I want to use that one. That one's so pretty. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? The snowy windmill. Holy cranky. Stay. Okay, seriously, dude? Okay. Alright. I think this might be dry enough to cut, maybe. I just want to cut it so I can... dry... separately. Which is probably not the best idea in the world. You should probably wait for it to dry and then cut it. But I don't pretend to do things that are logical. Logic sometimes happens, but most of the time it's just like whatever floats your boat. Oh, my alarm for lunch is probably going to go off in about 10 minutes. I'll try to be very snappy with grabbing it. But I wasn't really hungry when I started this video, <clears throat> and I figured that it would be safe to just go ahead and start the video. And because I mean, it's only gonna be 20 minutes after my lunch, and then maybe I might be hungry. I am starting to learn to eat when I'm hungry, not eat because it's time to eat. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's just it's too thin. I really want to use it, but I don't. <laughs> so we're just going to save it. I do have a... I have a little guy in here that I can use for my scraps. 
I'm just pull him out. And this is, so far, this is what I use to put my rice paper in because it's really all I need right now. And I found these on um, Gail's Favorite Things. Um, it's her affiliated link for Amazon. And so I use that. Although this is not going to fit in there. Oh, no. Can I fold rice paper like you can fold napkins? Or will it create a crease? I'm just going to like lightly fold it over. So I'm new to the whole rice paper thing. I don't know if you guys have used it before. Or if you know how it reacts. I do not. That's going to be in the way. That's probably going to be in the way too. Ooh, I could use that too. That might be pretty. That's washi tape. I pulled out a couple things that I was like, ah, I think I might want to use this. The beginning of our life together is what it says on there. I think these particular um, Project Life cards were like wedding themed or something. Do I like that? And you can still see the beginning of our life together. Which is kind of cool, actually. I'm going to do that. All right. Bloop, 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 bloop. So I was re-watching my video from yesterday. And it's really funny to watch myself for one. But for two, I jump around a lot. <laughs> like, I'll be talking about something. And then all of a sudden, I'm talking about what I'm working on. And then all of a sudden, I'm talking about something completely different. It's quite humorous. I don't know how you guys keep up. Because you're smart and quick. Okay, this is actually really nice. I'm digging this whole decoupage paper instead of like the napkins. But I, <laughs> you are not going to get me away from using napkins like ever because napkins are so cool. But this is, this is nice. It's very smooth and thin and transparent. I mean, I'm still gonna have to um, squish them because you can see how they are warping, or not warping, but they're curving. Which I said earlier that this glue doesn't do that, but maybe I was mistaken and maybe I was thinking about something else. Maybe it was like fabric talk or something. You fill my heart with joy. That's actually a really good one to use for like the Christmassy holidays. Ooh, I like this one. I like these. I'm glad I got a few of those. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking about something different, like Fabri-Tac or something. I know Fabri-Tac does not warp your papers because I started using that um, before I realized kind of what texture was on your papers, before I found the world of vintage and antique. And I was doing, um, what was I doing? I was lining this up. I was doing a lot of uh, photo albums and mini albums. And so I would use, um, I would use score tape for one, a lot. And I would use Fabri-Tac for my wet glue. But something I have noticed is, um, I'm gluing this to the parchment paper. <laughs> Something that I have noticed is I have a giant drawer full of glues. And I don't know what to do with them. I have no idea. You know, this parchment paper, I'm not sure what's happening, but it is, maybe I should be using wax paper. I don't know. Um, I have a vertical one or a horizontal one, rather. I don't know how to work. 
Oh. Will that cover up? Oh, it will. Good. Look at those deer. That's pretty. I don't know if I want to push it up and cover up this down here or pull it down. I think I want to pull it down. Uh, this says it's either ITD or LTD collection. Anyway, she's got a lot of this particular uh, brand. Um, and you can look that up on Google, but I think they're based in Europe. I have no idea. I have tried and tried and tried to find where to get rice papers, like wholesale, so I could offer them to you guys, but I don't know where to get them. I have no idea. I've tried everywhere. I've tried Europe shops. I have tried um, just like Googling wholesale, obviously. Um, I've tried all kinds of stuff. But I offer you guys a lot of stuff. I don't think I need to add rice paper to that list of stuff. <laughs> oh, that is so freaking cool. I love this. This stuff is amazing. And this actually isn't rice paper. Just in case you're coming in a little bit late to the video. Um, this is not rice paper. This is decoupage paper. And I don't know what I'm saying coming in late to the video because that really only happens in live streams. And I'm not doing live streams anymore. I am only focusing on... You fill my heart with joy. I am only focusing on doing my videos and, oh no, my Etsy shop. So that's quite productive today. I got a couple things organized. I got a couple orders done. It was awesome. And that was all before noon. So I'm like, yay, I'll have time to do a couple videos and whatnot, and that'll be awesome. I am really liking these. The beginning of our life together. I'll do that one again. more out. I only pulled out two of these. Excuse you. There it is. Let's see. Lunch time. Sorry, I'm not really hungry right this minute, but something that I've found that helps me a little bit is um, I chew gum. I just I chew. Um, it's just it's just spearmint, nothing fancy. You know, nothing fancy schmancy. Just something that is flavorful and satisfying. I think that's the same one I put on the last one, actually. No. To fill my heart with joy was that one. Alright, cool. Yeah, because that was the other one. The beginning of our life together. I think that's really cool. So, anywho... I'm really curious what kind of projects you guys are working on right now. I have like so many projects on my plate. Um, I'll show you one of them here in a second. Let me do some of these up real quick. And 
maybe we'll work on that in the next video because I want to get it finished so I can get it up in the shop because honestly I've been working on it for um, about a month so I need to get it done but it's a it's a book it's a journal and it's actually using up um, two of my two of my digitals so again if you haven't been over to the shop I have quite a few digitals up um, I haven't done the whole scan and uh, hey give me that <laughs> I'm glowing my fingers it won't come off anyway I haven't done the whole scan thing um, I just use images that I can obtain through um, Graphic Fairy actually is where I get mine and oh that is so pretty anyway and I just I create graphic images graphic design that way I also have another website that um, I use that I can obtain images through but it's kind of like graphic design but instead of paying a membership for their services you pay per package like uh, if you want to upload um, birds then you would buy that package of uh, images to use I mean, and it is like, it's limited, um, what's it called? Limited production, meaning I can't mass produce, um, and sell to Walmart, but I can, um, I can create digital artwork and produce that, which is kind of cool. Because I can do that with both Graphic Fairies as well as the other website. But I have, like, I have a ton of material here at home. Like, not digitized. But before I go and do that, I'm going to talk to a lawyer. Because um, I see a lot of people, like, that digitize, like, copyright free imagery copyright free material and then they and then they claim ownership of it they claim ownership of the copyright and I everywhere I've read says you can't do that it's not that's not how copyright works um, now if you change the imagery and you know create artwork with it sure but I don't know I'm just like I said, I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm saying I need, before I do it myself, is what I'm saying. Before I do it myself, I need to make sure that I post the right information on the site. Because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, you can't, you know, you can't use this. It's, I own the copyright now. And when in fact that's not true. Which is actually what's on my, that's actually what's on my website right now. But I don't have anything on my website that's not, oh, that's not true. I was going to say, I don't have anything on my website that's not protected by copyright. Well, that's not true because some of the pages in, um, in the digital artwork, they're fussy cut pages. And what that means is I've, basically I've um, taken the image and just copied and pasted it like a bajillion times on the page so you can cut it out and I don't mean like literally a bajillion because that's a lot of fussy cutting I don't know about you but my hands can't handle that um, and don't get me wrong I have I know a lot of people that do graphic design and they claim ownership of that and that is completely like legit I completely understand that because it is it's you are you know you have created a piece of artwork you didn't just 
you know, take something out of free domain and say, oh, it's mine now. <laughs> Which, um, like I said, I've done a lot of reading on it because I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to be that person that's like, oh, it's mine now. I own the copyrights to this public domain image because, you know, I scanned it. Um, oh no! Sorry, I was trying to get this as even as possible. There we go. Anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, I'm still going to talk to a lawyer before I do it because. I want to make sure that everything I do is like on the up and up because I mean it is my business it is my name and I know that with the created artwork that is protected under copyright but I knew that because like I said I've done a lot of reading on copyright um, and I do understand that all countries and states and whatnot are different. So what applies to us may not apply to, you know, people in Taiwan and, you know, people in Africa or Australia or whatever. I know that. I'm not that silly. Which is why, um, when I see these things, sometimes they're not of, you know, United States. So, that makes it even more confusing for me. Because I'm just like, well, what's allowed for me? So, but I'm very fortunate and I have access to legal, uh... I have access to legal representation, legal advice, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Um, so I'm very fortunate in that particular aspect. So it doesn't, it doesn't hurt me or cost me anything to just be like, yo, can I do this? <laughs> um, now these are really thin, so I don't think I'm going to use these two. And I don't mean thin as in like the paper thin, I mean thin as in like they're not very high. Like a little tiny bit I can cover up, but a lot of tiny bit, <laughs> a lot of tiny bit, that makes sense. But a lot of bit, I'm not sure about that. So I'm just gonna save those and put them in my needle bag. Needle tiny bag. Look, I'm saving my scraps. Aren't you guys proud of me? And I have glue all over my fingers. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What's our time? Oh, yeah. We've got plenty of time. So let's do one more sheet. And then I will show you guys the book I've been working on. And it'll just kind of be like a little flip through. Um, we'll probably work on it tomorrow or something. Because I haven't worked on it in a minute. I also have... <laughs> I also have a design team project that I need to work on because um, I haven't started that yet. Uh, I do have the materials for, oops, I do have the materials for the design team project. I just don't have, I haven't started anything and I haven't printed anything out either. So that's, that's good. Um, we'll definitely use that one. That one might be a little small definitely use that one. That one, maybe. Um, maybe. Not sure. And then this one might be a little small too. I don't know. I think that might work. Alright. So we'll do maybe on this one and definitely not on this one because this one's really small. And I think I might have more of this one. I'm not sure. So we're definitely going to do those three. Um, let's do some of these here. Um, 
Yeah, this is just not working. I'm not sure what's happening with this. Ugh. It's just in my way. So we're just going to take that and do that. All right. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to go to the edge and I might save that little tiny bit right there. Only because it's got those pretty trees. Alright. So anyway, if you do digitals, how do you know what you can claim ownership of? Like, have you done your own reading? And if you have, can you point me in the direction of where I can find this information? Because that would be awesome. Oof. <laughs> There's like a little hole in the book. I must have used it for like stabbing or something. Oh, it's so pretty. And I like how you can still see the, um, the happy memories back there. Alright, and then look at the polar bear. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm being silly. I know. Oh, happy day. Sorry. I'm done. Yeah, I think I am going to keep this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep his butt, though. There we go. Yeah, we'll keep this side. Oh, possibly. Well, there's not a whole lot of this that we can keep. Yes, dear. Sorry, my phone was going off. Mm. At least my email doesn't ding at you guys anymore. But I've had to change my email client again. Because my email was being silly. Again. I just want to say thank you, Miss Gale, for turning me into these. Well, she didn't turn me into rice papers, but she did show me the way of rice paper. And I've seen, like, I've heard people talk about them before, but um, she had given she had given out this website as she does with you know her Etsy shares and whatnot. And I was just like, I fell in love. Like this is insane in the membrane it was crazy all right so let's do this side oh so pretty so so pretty i love that mm. i think that might be fold time i need to also work on these cards oh because I have a lot of those not too too many but I do have a decent amount of those let's see this way yeah. merc 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 But yeah, so anyway, um, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I got excited over the rice papers. Oh, that's what I was talking about, is uh, the rice papers. And um, anyway, she introduced this um, Etsy shop where she gets her rice papers. And uh, I was just like, I was hooked ever since. I was like, this is crazy. 
It was just so pretty. And I had to buy them. I did not buy them all. Uh, like, as in, like, one of each. I did not do that. Um, and she's got really great prices. Uh, I do have another order of hers coming in. Uh, it's not rice paper. It's a uh, scrap of paper. But uh, when it comes in, I will uh, share with you guys. Um, because it's just too small. Um, that one's too small too. Okay, so that's it for these guys. But anyway, um, so when it comes in, I'll share with you guys. Oh, let me cut the label off of this one. So it'll fit in my pocket. My pocket! in my pocket. Look at me saving scraps. Whoop whoop. I get a cookie. Oh, I can have cookies. I can have cheesecake. I can have cake. I can have ice cream. I can have whatever I want. That's one of the things about this program is it teaches you to take labels off of things. And I honestly, I couldn't agree more. I think that that is a fabulous idea because I think in today's age, Everything has to be labeled. And it's ridiculous. Like food. It's either good or bad. There's no in between. And I'm like, really? And that's just food. Walk outside and, you know, look at society and how much of society is labeled. The way you eat is labeled. Everything is labeled crazy I tell you crazy anyway um okay so we're gonna set that aside I'm gonna show you this thing that I've been working on um I'm gonna cut these up um uh, maybe I'll cut them on camera maybe I'll cut them off camera I don't know but I gotta let them dry because I don't want them I don't want to break the papers I'm gonna stick them all underneath a really heavy book I have a, uh, I think it's a Romanian dictionary. It's actually like only this big. Here, I'll show you. Oh, what are you? Um, Netherlands. It's a Netherlands dictionary. Anyway, it's pretty small. Um, bloop. It's four and a half inches by six and a quarter inches. But it's three inches thick. <laughs> so it's a pretty heavy book. So I'm just going to stack these up real quick, uh, nice and pretty like ish. And then I'm going to throw them underneath this book here. Uh, let's see. And this is all we have left, really, to do the backs of. I mean, everything else is done. And then we will have a ginormous stack of journaling cards that we can just grab from and go. Like, grab a card, make it pretty, decorate it some more. Because, I mean, you could use them as is, but they weren't necessarily intended to be used just, you know, blank like that. Uh, let me zoom you guys out just a smidge. Mm. I can't zoom out too much more. Oh, that'll work, actually. Alright, so this is my book that I'm working on. Uh, this is the lace that I'm using throughout this particular book. It's on the cover. It's, you know, uh, the cover is done. This is the extra pages that I'm working with. These are from my lavender kit. Um, these are some napkins that I believe this one came from Eve. And some papers that I've got. I love these cards. These I got from Eve. And let's see. Some stickers. Because I love me some stickers. Oh, this is actually from the 
um, purple. I just have a purple kit. It's that's just what it's called. It's called purple kit. Anyway, that's that's um, this one. This one's from Lilac. This one's purple. Um, this one's Lilac. Lilac. Lilac is a large kit. There is a lot in here. But I want to do um, I want to do other colors, obviously. Uh, that one's a purple kit, not lilac. This is just uh, pink paper. Um, this actually came in uh, one of my orders of lace, actually. Um, but it's really pretty, and it kind of matched the colors. So um, this one's lilac, lilac. Lilac, 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 <laughs> lilac, uh, lilac. All of these are lilac. Anyway, um, so I printed, obviously, a bunch of these because I still have a lot to do in this journal. This is what I was talking about earlier when I said um, there are a couple pages where this particular page is not protected by copyright because it's literally royalty free images. It's, it's just copied and pasted. Like I don't get the copyright to this just because I digitized it and multiplied it. I mean, if that were the case, then I would take Tim Holtz stuff and just be like, I digitized it. It's mine now. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Um, but like I said, I'm going to talk to a lawyer and find out for sure before I, and that is not on my top priority list, by the way, because I have so many projects to do. Um, scanning my pre-copyright stuff is not on the top of my priority list. Like this book, this book is pre-copyright. Um, but it is also in the Netherlands. So for us, it would be, you know, out of copyright. But for the Netherlands, I have no idea if it is. Anyway, so that's, oh, this is one of the doilies that I have on my shop right now. I want to use it somewhere in this book, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, because I'm not sure if it's going to fit, um, like, matchy-matchy wise. Let me move this out of the way. Alright, uh, that book is also in the way. It's creating a massive shadow. Okay, so. Um, this is the book itself. It's the spine. The back. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a plate on it or not. I don't know. But I painted it white. It was a blue um, hence the blue. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with this page yet. I think I'm just going to leave it. I am going to put something here. Um, today's best nonfiction was this book. Oh, there's a pocket. A pocket. With a card. Also has a little pocket. With another little card. This one I thought was really cool. This is a bag. Pocket. And a pocket. And this is one of the cards I got from Eve. But see, it's matchy paper. And it's got like a little lace pull right there. Uh, this envelope is out of the lilac kit. And yes, I fussy cut that. Isn't that crazy? No. Um, there's a pocket here as well as here. And also here. Some writing space, multiple writing spaces. So you could write something here as well as down here. 
and another card. And I tried to leave some of them blank like this so you could write on them, obviously. Uh, this paper here is from Medieval. This paper here is from Medieval Mirage, and I really liked the paper, so I wanted to use it. And this one's part of the lilac. And there's another pocket. Like I said, this one's it's not finished. So uh, another card. Uh, these envelopes actually happen to fit very well on these cards that I got from Eve. I think I had to trim the envelope ever so slightly but they ended up working out really nicely yeah because this is the full size envelope here and then this is the card so I had to trim it up just a little bit but as you can see I used pink lace to go with the lavender was it lavender or lilac I might have called it, I don't know, it's been a minute since I've created this. It's on the shop though. Um, this one's really cool because there's a pocket here and a pocket here as well as a pocket here and here. So it's like a triple pocket or a quadruple pocket actually. But yeah, like I said, um, there's the pink lace all throughout, but it just, I guess because the purple is so faint and so light, it's not like that deep, rich purple like this everywhere. There is some that are darker. So the rest of it is penned because it's not done yet. Um, and I just kind of put the pieces where I think I might want them. And obviously I might change my mind or whatever, but the rest of them are just kind of pinned into place with the paper clips. And then <laughs> that's where I started printing more because I needed more papers. Hence why there are several printed out right now. Anyway, and then that's the back cover. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with the blue. I don't know yet. I might just leave it. Uh, anything that has writing on it from the original book, then I'll cover that up. But like this and that. But as far as this goes, I think I might just leave it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway. That is the journal that I'm working on right now-ish. Um, so we are over the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And I will, um, uh, we will probably work on this uh, tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.